up everybody this is chaos zero and welcome back to let's play devil may cry 3 And then there's a six, is the burn mark in the ground. Because somehow a rocket launcher can burn a six in the ground. Hmm. Let's see. Mission six, family ties. Let's see, can I buy anything? I do not believe that I can. Oh. Mission start. And the meat goddess's chamber. And that gun pretty much has three holes in it, and you can fill the holes by going here. No, not in it. But, yeah, these are the Chamber of Three Trials. You only have to do two of these trials to beat the level, but if you beat all three of them, then you will get another gun. So I will, like, because I'm going to show off how to get all the weapons and such, be showing that. Okay, first, the Trial of Wisdom. I forgot to read the sign. Pretty much, it said, uh, it mentioned the riddle of the Sphinx from Greek mythology. You know, the what has four legs in the morning, two in the after, or two in two at noon, and three in the evening. That. So you go down four, two. And three. And then there we go. And we get the essence of intelligence. Now that's one of the trials. This mission's really short, especially if you don't do the third trial, which I'm going to be doing, but whatever. And time to go do the trial of skill. Basically, the way this works is spears are going to be sticking out of the walls, and you dodge them. Otherwise, you get hurt. And if you get hurt enough, you die. Wow! Fail. And yeah, they take about a bar of HP each, so... I wouldn't suggest getting hit by them very much. Oh. Yay, I made it. And for doing that, we get the Essence of Technique. And now, uh, more blood goils and whatever those enemies are spawn. But I don't care. And here is the trial of combat. I I don't remember what the name of the room is. Trial of the Warrior, okay. Now, basically, uh, you have to fight enemies, and they're in double trigger mode permanently, unless you beat up these panels. There's one panel each side of the room, as you may have seen. Pretty much, when they're in double trigger form, you only do like an eighth of the normal damage to them, or so it's something really retarded. And they do more damage to you. So, just you have those panels, knock them out of double trigger mode, and just kill them. 
Simple as that. And don't get hit by that easy to avoid attack that I for some reason am getting hit by. Yeah, but the thing about this trial is that those panels won't stay lit up forever. Eventually, and yeah, like right there. See, eventually the panels unlight themselves. Okay. Wow! Wow! And the doorbells are ringing. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want someone to come down. That would mean bad things. Oh, if only I could have recorded this earlier. I was so much more full of energy, but I had family. I couldn't. I like to not hear the music at all. I don't know. At least my speakers work now. And there we go. And we get the essence of fighting, a fighting spirit of the ancient ones. Offer this to the goddess to open a new path. So yeah, we've acquired all the items, so that means we're pretty much at the end of the mission already. <laughs> yeah, this game... Well, some of the missions, quite a few of the missions in this game, actually, are very short. Now let's switch my equipment, because... There's a combat educator uh, in one of the next rooms that I want to be able to... Sorry, break. Do I just press B in front of this? Use the essence of fighting. Nothing happened. Use the essence of technique! And it fires its laser at the clock. Then press B one more time, use the essence of intelligence, and then... It moves down. And congratulations, you get the Artemis. A gun of the demon world that discharges arrows concentrated with demon energy. It's ident it's it's pretty much near uh, the same thing as that one gun in uh, Devil May Cry 1. Don't remember what it's called because I haven't gotten that gun because I haven't beaten it. I just remember there was a gun in Devil May Cry 1 that's almost identical to it. I just don't remember the name. And now you will see why I do not ever use the Agni and Rudra, because I suck at comboing with pretty much every weapon in this game that's not the Cerberus. Or, er, Cerberus, no, that Rebellion. Which is... Which that and the... Just to prove that you can, uh, is why this is a Rebellion-only run. And that's the end of the mission! <laughs> Ooh. My, it's Arkham. You've grown stronger. Go to hell. You point a gun at me? Your own kin? Your dear papa? <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. The only I ever had was my mother. And she's dead! Well, they both have the, uh... You break my Multicolored heart. eyes. After What's that all, called? I don't remember. When you have, uh, multiple you colored remember. eyes. My darling daughter. Yeah. Something tells me Arkham. Uh, something tells me Arkham's not exactly human. So. Uh, oh, except he still bleeds like a normal human. I don't know. Maybe it was the fact that Arkham could stand on the ceiling. I don't know. Next. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we're at Lady Falling. Joy. Huh. 
Nice catch. <laughs> well, this is my kind of rain. No wonder this guy looks so funny today. <laughs> Let me go. Typical Dante humor. Let you go. <laughs> but it would be a waste if you ended up as just a pretty stain. <laughs> oh. That sucks. Dante just got shot in the head. And you show your thanks by shooting me? <laughs> nice. Sorry, I laugh. I have a retarded sense of humor sometimes. He catch that bullet else? in his mouth. Do as you please. So he's a demon too. I swear, that's like our catchphrase in this game. I think I've got rotten luck with women. <laughs> Believe me, you'll. Oh, by the way, uh, you just—I didn't mention it, but. When he threw the bullet against the wall, like kind of on the wall, it, uh, or like his blade against the wall, it made it went into a seven. Mission seven, a chance meeting. Uh, blah. I want that, but I'll get it. Mission seven, a chance meeting. Yeah. You do have terrible luck with women, honestly, though, Dante. Like, there's Lady in this, and there's Trish in the first game. And then, I don't know. I think that's... Oh, man, there's Lucia, which actually... Well, she just doesn't like you. I don't remember which one it... I don't, I don't remember if it's in the anime that he says this, or... If it's actually in Devil May Cry 4, I don't remember, but he mentions that, like, he's, he mentions, like, his luck again about those that, like, don't shoot him, can't get, um, brain fart for the lose. Just bounce up these. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mention what I just did there. I went into the library and I got an Orchillion Fragment, which is needed to activate an elevator that's up here. Oh, crap. I missed the holy water. I am actually going to go back down and get that. All backtracking for the loot. Well, not backtracking, but... Well, technically it is. Except really all I'm doing is just jumping down these things until I wherever the holy water is because believe me I want that holy water I swear there's a holy water somewhere oh there it is and there we go another holy water or well isn't it another holy yeah no it's just a holy water Basically, what holy waters do is, if you use them, then they like, then they create an explosion around you that does massive amounts of damage to all nearby enemies, which is pretty useful. Oh, and here is the place that Arkham threw Lady off the cliff. Or wait, I'm kind of spoiling. Whatever. If you played four, and I did a let's play of four, will be redone shortly, as I've said in the past. Then you know her name's Lady. Or does it say her name? I don't, I don't think he ever... Whatever. I don't care. I don't care enough to clarify my statement. You know what? I hate this blue orb fragment. It's like... No one... <laughs> I swear, this is like one of the last ones I... <sighs> like, that's actually sitting out in the... F if I remember correctly, this is one of the last... I think it's actually one of the last ones I get ever. Okay. I can do this. Apparently I can't. Uh, no! Wow. Wow! Let's see how long it takes me to get that stupid blue orb fragment, shall we? I keep dashing over it! No! 
No. Okay. Thank you. And we get a blue herb. Yeah, I think the rest of the ones in the game that I get, I buy. So I never have to worry about that again. Thankfully. <sighs> and let's just break this. So. Stuff. Oh yeah, and these are the first of a new type of enemy. They're the chess piece enemies. These are the pawns. Uh, pretty much by the end of the game, or like by one of the last levels, we will have encountered a couple of the, like three different, like three different, four different types actually. And then in like the third to last level, will there'll be like a uh, chess battle where you fight uh, the rest of them. Actually, no, I think you encounter five of them, and you just encounter the last two. The big chess battle. You'll see what I mean when I get there. Well, eventually, when I get there. Battle Star S. Let's just walk up to the altar. And here's the new enemy. I think it's green. And they carry around giant caskets that they spawn enemies out of. I would suggest making them your making the greeds your first priority because they keep spawning enemies. They'll never stop. And they usually only spawn like these weak enemies, unless of course they don't. That makes sense, right? No. Yeah, uh, I bought. Sorry, I'm kind of like scrambling for things to say sometimes. Um, Stinger level 2, all it does really is increase the range, which is really helpful. And I think it makes that retarded attack appear more frequently. I may be wrong, though. Heck, I don't know how to activate that regularly. Even on the off chance I do Oh, by the way, something cool. Press the attack button and he does that. It's kind of useless, but just kind of something cool, I guess. And here's the lift room. There is something over here. Yeah. And it's a combat educator for just the rebellion. Wait, what the crap? Why did it activate then? Yeah, sorry if, like, when I'm doing these, I, like, don't, like, provide very much commentary, because I'm trying to remember which which order I do the combos in. And sometimes I fail, but yeah. Another blue orb fragment. Yeah, the rest of the blue orb fragments I get are from combat educators, and, uh, just me buying blue orbs, if I remember correctly. And just use the Orchillian, Orchillian fragment there, and opens a lift. Why am I saying whatever? Just go in there. Drop down. And we are back here in the giant or in the tall room. I don't remember what the name of the room is. And it's not gonna tell me what the room's called. Whatever. But yeah, you see that fire there that I couldn't do anything about? Well, I didn't check it, but you couldn't do anything about it. Press B now, and keep it. And if you use the slider and shriek, I'm sorry if I don't mention items, I'm like focused on other things sometimes. We can now go in here. We're in another one of these hallways, except in this one, if you go backwards, you can actually get a gold orb. 
which recall lost souls or they just revive you on the spot when you die, which I showed off and on. Dang it, you piece of crap. And, oh my gosh, we're stuck in a small room, what will we do? Um, Okay, this is a pendulum. This is like just a skull pendulum or whatever. Pretty much beat it up and it will break. Pick it up. Thank you. And we get a crystal skull. A nearby sculpture made of magic crystal seems to be a piece of larger creation. Come on, enemies, piss me off. I need to ye I need to yell at something. Dang it! I need to yell at something. This, like, I, I am not thinking, I can't think of really anything to say right now. <laughs> Sorry, as I said. Oh, I may not have said this on Screw you. Um, my commentary for this first part of the game won't be very interesting, because I, like, actually don't have to really think because I've done this part so much it's just like oh hey I'm doing this now I'm doing this but with like later in the game I'm going to be like rah, rah, yeah. I want to murder the spider's children well I don't you don't do that whoa whoa I'm hooray for unnecessary jumping Wow. Wow! You're much. Wow! <laughs> like I'm just getting all pissed off every time I get. Ah! Wow! Okay. Holy crap! <laughs> Vital Star L. I survived 20 HP. I survived rape with the. Uh, Scythe. I was gonna say sickle, but that's not a sickle. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop. Just shut up about that now. Yeah, let's go back into the elevator. Oh, this is the chamber of echoes. Echoes, 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 echoes. Sorry, had to make the joke. We. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Arg, doorbell. I'm scared whenever that happens because I feel I'm afraid like someone's gonna come downstairs and like totally mess up the recording. Then again, me being texted would have the same effect most of the time. Care about well, more so, I've cared about the map. Wow! He just randomly died. I didn't even hit him that last time. He just died. Oh, hey, it's, look at this guy. Yeah, I would suggest dodging whenever he does that. Ow, what? Wow, who knew that that would actually... The pulse swinging would have a value. Not pulse swinging. Yay, he's dead. 